and travel with them. After this week's COVID-19 data report, Massachusetts removed Maine and New Hampshire from the list of lower-risk states. That leaves just Hawaii and Vermont. Travelers from those two states won't have to quarantine. I live in Massachusetts, literally maybe two and a half miles from here, okay, right over the line. So if I do a job in New Hampshire, I have to quarantine after that? Let's try to answer some of your questions. No, you don't. Exemptions include people passing through or briefly stopping at a rest stop, people commuting to work or school, and then back home, patients seeking or receiving medical treatment, and military or critical infrastructure personnel. If you do not meet one of those exemptions, you must submit an online travel form. The only other way out? is if you can produce a negative COVID-19 test result taken in the last 72 hours. Okay, so try to find a place that you don't stand in line for five hours to try to get a test. And, you know, because everybody's taking tests to travel and things like that. But to, you can't. I tried to find a test for my son, and he was going to go stand in line. And everyone says it's six hours. I don't have six hours to go stand in line. If not, plan to separate and quarantine for 14 days or until you receive your negative test. How are you going to control it? You're going to have a cop sit at the border and stop everybody? It's unclear exactly how it will be enforced, but those who don't comply could get a $500 fine per day. All right, we only have time for one more question. How long is this going to be? Great question. Well, the policy considers data over two weeks before moving a state from lower risk to high risk. But some potentially good news. It just takes one week to reverse that, to go from high risk to potentially back down to lower risk. Guys, people fired up about this one, Wale. What about people who need to cross the border for a brief day trip or run to get errands or groceries? Yeah, so the, the state also included some what they call exemptions for critical life activities. We're talking about, like, groceries. We mentioned uh, doctor's appointments, medical appointments, uh, pharmacies religious services, funerals, that type of thing. And the thing with all of those critical life activities, you still have to wear a mask, practice social distancing, all the same guidelines. But there are a lot of nuances to these exemptions, guys. So I want you to go to our website, boston25news.com, for those specifics. Good advice, Wale. Thank you. <laughs> More fucking bullshit. So those exemptions don't no, matter, really. They're so fucking useless. Really?